Cereal grains, water, fermentation, and distillation. These elements and processes transform into alcoholic beverages of distinction and tradition called spirits or liquor. The principle of distillation was known to ancient Romans who mastered the process. However, we still don't know the precise ingredients they were using. In the Middle Ages, stills produced the first alcohols from wine. The 7th century saw people making ethyl alcohol, and by the 15th century, the process was further refined, leading to the production of today's brandy, bourbon, cognac, and whiskey. Dried corn kernels is the main grain used in making spirits. Every day, seven truckloads empty out 230 tons of it. This corn will produce the basic ingredient for spirits, such as whiskey, gin, creme de menthe, and amaretto. The kernels are stored in these 24 meter high silos, which can hold up to 250 tons. This is the distillery control room. They're going to make a recipe that's 95% corn and produces neutral alcohol to which they will add other grains for color and flavor. We see here the first step, the milling of the grain. Some eight tons of corn flour and 18,000 liters of water are introduced into this autoclave and cooked with live steam for 90 minutes. Enzymes transform starch into sugar. Then they add the yeast, which converts sugar into alcohol. Fermentation lasts 60 hours at 38 degrees centigrade. The bubbling we see is created by the action of the yeasts. This cone removes the CO2, a natural byproduct of fermentation. Nearly 70 tons of CO2 are drawn off daily. Everything is monitored by computer. Some 24 hours have now passed since the start of fermentation. When this stage is ended, corn oil will have come to the surface and is clearly visible by its reddish color. The fermented mash has a 13% alcohol content. They now move on to the next step, distillation, which condenses the vapors of the mix. It's in this three-column distillation system at a temperature of 85.5 degrees that the mash ferments and is distilled by live steam to separate the alcohol. All the distillation columns are continually monitored. During distillation, they dry the grains used in the recipe in this rotating drum. The resulting product is called draft, and it will be used to make animal feed. Distillation is now ended. To aromatize certain gins, they add dried lemon skins, some cinnamon, or coriander. Rum and whiskey will be aged in these 350,000 oak barrels. While aging, these spirits will lose about 3% of their alcohol content annually through evaporation. Also, the color gradually darkens. They're now ready to draw out the liquid from the barrels and put it into bottles, but first they have to verify the quality of the spirits. They compare the standard product with the new production. This test is highly important in order to assure the quality of the final product. Bottling begins. Here, 140, 750 milliliter bottles of rum and spirits are filled every minute. Clean bottles circulate continually on the conveyor, leading them to the filling machine. Bottles are then filled automatically by this machine. It allows an exact quantity to flow into each bottle. The next step, a capper places caps on the bottles and crimps them onto the necks. Then the sealed and labeled bottles head for the packaging department. This other machine fills 120 bottles with 1.14 liters of Canadian whiskey every minute.
In this distillery, some 20 different spirits are produced. With 34,000 tons of corn kernels, they produce 44,750 liter bottles of spirits annually.